Hello everyone and welcome back to part 3 of our how to get started with the can analyzer. Now we're going to pick up just where we left uh, at part 2 where we had the sequencer up and running and this time around I'm going to show you how to use the signal module. The signal module allows you to interpret CAN messages based on a signal database and either display them as a numeric value or as a graphical value. Now here's the prepared uh, project that we had in part 2 as well with the sequencer running in the lower right uh, section. You can see the sequencer is running and repeating over and over again. Here you have the receive window with the uh, scrolling view and the overwriting view of just the basic raw CAN messages. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add a signal database to the CAN channel that we're receiving on. We're going to properties, database, here you can see there is already a database uh, included in this project. We're going to add it again. Select the database. Now we have two. Obviously we don't want that. We'll delete the previous one. And now we can use the signal module which is included on CAN channel 2. Now here in the signal module you have a bunch of statistical values like uh, bus load, uh, different other things which are just generated by the CAN analyzer itself as a uh, statistical value but below that you have the actual signals which you have defined in your database for these transmissions. So when we start the sequencer now you have the graphical overview of the signal and you can see here that the values used in the sequencer actually uh, provide a heart rate monitor or something that looks like a uh, heart rate. You can switch between uh, different types of display whether it should be a continuous scrolling or whether you want to scroll manually for example and you can also overlay several signals. Here we have signal 1 and below you can uh, see the current values actually used but we can also add another value which will then be displayed in the same window as the first value. You can see here we switched on uh, signal 2 which is a different kind of uh, heart rate monitor basically. We can also switch over to the scrolling or overwrite view where we can then see uh, the actual name of the signal and its current value. So switching back to the graphical overview, which is what you will, you will be using most of the time, this is just a quick overview of how you can actually use signals and their representation in the CAN analyzer. So that's it for now, and make sure to tune back in for another project.